What is going on, everybody? Bobby Fye here with my man, Eric Sheets Haber. We are talking through Monday Night Footballs, uh, Rams and uh, Niners. Uh, sorry, the Rams and Niners Monday Night Football game. Uh, it's a fun one. Uh, it's a game that I I I, I like quite a bit, and uh, it's at my you know I love I these are obviously the you know two rivals, and for me probably the biggest regular season games are going to be Rams Niners all season. I don't expect there to be a whole lot of fun uh, DFS stuff in this one, but maybe we can find some ways to get different. I, I'm going for back to back showdown wins here, Sheet. So I need to, or at least chops. So I need. Yeah, to I'm in a real I'm in a really good mood with respect to showdown because first of all good mood because you know because bobby you know chopped that thing last week the other thing is that i was able to create like some unique lineups in the last showdown slate um without without going completely bananas and you know one of them actually was in first for like a while in that and what's cool about when you're in first when you're in a unique lineup what's cool about is when you see like you know, like a seven, like a 37 way tie, like beneath you that like just shows like what leverage like really kind of means, you know, mm-hmm. and, and listen, it goes both ways. Like one of those guys, like, like outscores you, then, then you go down automatically to 38, like for example, you know, but mm-hmm. that's, but that's fine. I'd rather, you know what I mean? Like I'd rather give that, get that 37 to one odds, whatever. So even though that, that lineup eventually faded or whatever, um, it really gave me hope that, that my process in, in showdown is, is really strong and I'm going to continue doing that. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, and I actually have a couple. I have I have a take for I have a take for tonight actually, which I will give because uh, I'm not going to be doing a I'm not going to be live. I don't believe yeah. so. Uh, I, I want to go on record with this. So for, let's first talk about the game. Like you're saying, you don't think it's you think it's uh, what do you, I mean? You know these teams better than anybody. What do you what do you think? What do you think of the game in general? I, I still feel like the Rams uh, have not looked good to me so far this season, and I am. St- I, I still kind of think the two and a half is interesting. I, I think it's very close. I, I I don't know. I thought the spread would be three. Um, I do slightly like the Rams a little bit better, uh, but I, I nothing will surprise me with these two teams. The, the Niners had our number quite a few times. And then at the end of last year, obviously in the playout in the postseason beat them in the NFC championship game, big, big, a big game for the, for the Niners. Uh, I, I I don't know. I'm I'm having trouble. I feel like it's everything. I feel like it's going to be a really close game that comes down to one score, and I'm leaning a little bit towards the Rams, but I'm probably a little biased in my decision. Um, so that's my that's my biggest take. I also think there there is some room maybe on the over in this game. Um, it's a little low. I mean, it's a low total. The Niners do play in the slower games, and they're good, really good defensively, and they run the ball. But the Rams' offense is good enough to put up more than twenty points, and I just think this game could easily be, you know. 27 24 that kind of thing so that's, that's actually, a little bit actually my son my son was home was home for the weekend so he was one that's put in a showdown slate i'm like you know let's let's talk through this i mean you really want to learn how to do this let's let's, let's learn how to do this so i was telling him last night i mean let's just let's go back to basics i mean here, here take out the phone right take out the the live thing tell me tell me what you think of the game i asked him you know like uh the tampa game i was like well, who do you, you think is gonna win he's like no, I think it's gonna be. I'm really not sure. I'm like, okay, that's already that's already a take, you know. So what you probably want to do if you're not sure who's gonna win is probably make sure you play three of one one uh, one group and three of another team. You know, it's just not that easy, but you know that's that's one way to think about it. And 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 then and then I told him, listen, the the, the other thing you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to make sure there's you don't fill out your salary cap. So this before we even come up with players. So I I think that you should leave you know a minimum of a thousand on the table. But I think other people will do that. So why don't you leave eleven hundred on the table? So let's leave forty eight thousand nine hundred as the most you'll, you'll be willing to pay before you even talk about your players. And then I just went through. I mean, like you know, and uh, who do you like? And we just kind of built that way. So mm-hmm. it, it, listen, when when you're playing like a hundred lineups and you're you're going for 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 craziness or whatever, you got to script and like screw around whatever. But when you're just trying to get a sense of what to do in the game. I think this is a good idea. So so based on what you just said, I mean, I think that. You said you prefer the Rams a little bit, but you even acknowledge that that you might be a little biased some in somewhat. So why don't we just consider the game just kind of like a pick them for the purposes of analysis, right? Mm-hmm. And the other thing that you had mentioned is like you do think that there's some there's some like at least over upside to the over. Okay. So I'm not gonna say it's gonna be 50, you know, 57 point total, but maybe some upside to the to to the over. So the type of stuff maybe we'll be looking to build is maybe a three by three with maybe more of a lean towards a little bit of an upside, you know, as opposed to kicker defenses or, or whatever it is. So I think, you know, as we're building and we're talking about this, I think that's, that's something we could do. So, mm-hmm. so, okay. So if we think that let's, uh, let's pick someone, I guess, in the captain. Now 
I'm I'm more stubborn than you. Like I I don't want to put a quarterback in the captain because I just think he's. I almost never put a quarterback in. The right, captain. right, right, right. Because it's just too it's just too popular. Or whatever. So okay, so we're on the same page. So who do you think is the best guy, given what we've said, to kind of put in the captain for either team? You know, or do you want to go through team by team? The obvious answer is Cup, but and it's a tough one to fade because he can put up a score that no one else can come close to. He could have double the points of anybody else in the slate very easily. Um, so it's a really difficult fade to fade him. Uh, Debo is going to be the next most popular, who could who's the only one who can really put up a comparable one. I like the idea of maybe using Kittle at lower ownership, and I like the idea of maybe using Brandon Ayuk at lower ownership. Well, so we put Ayuk, for example, like in the captain over here. This is this is what you deal with with the with the with the with the Niners every week, right? You got Samuel, you got Ayuk, and you got Kettle. Kettle who wasn't in for a while, right? Right. And you got those guys, and then you got other you got you got you got you know running back uh, Wilson, and then you got other hoodoos that you don't know what's going on. You got possible, you know, uh, Juwan Jennings stuff, you know, as 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 a cheapo. So you gotta like take your stand somewhere. I mean, at least in your main lineup. So I think that Ayuk's a good place to start because I think that mo that that most people, not most people, I I, I would imagine that Cup is probably going to be either Cup or Stafford. I imagine would be the most popular captain. I think the people, the next group is, I guess Debo, right? Wouldn't Debo be the next the next guy among those? So I think uh, starting with Ayuk is good, and you know, and Bobby's been talking about Ayuk for since he's been in the league, you know, is always having that, that ceiling in his, in his, I don't see his back pocket. I guess it's like just somewhere, you know what I mean? He's always in his price range. He's always, yeah, I got the shot. Yeah. So, so we start with IU and here's a question is like for showdown, when you play IU, is this the type of slate where you have to play Garoppolo with him or is one where you don't have? To? Uh, he's, he, he, he correlates better with, with Garoppolo than, than Debo does. Cause Debo will get some running plays. Well, that's a good point. Um, but I don't, I don't especially love, uh, Garop like Garoppolo here at his price. So I don't think you need to play him. No. All right. So what else we got? Um, so if you're going to play the one guy from San Francisco before we forget, I mean, do we want to play Cooper cup or is that too, you know, obviously we want to play Cooper it's Cup. It's going to be so hard to get different with your lineups of playing Cooper cup in the, in the captain, but at the same time, well, not in the captain. Now we're in the flex. You want to, you want to, I think, yeah, I, 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 yeah, I don't see a world where I'm fading Cooper cup tonight. Um, well, yeah. well, that's the answer. So, so we put Cooper cup in here. And now here's what we're looking at. Now we're looking at six to six hundred per player, and and you could totally make a lineup like this. That's like mm -hmm. for sure. Now 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 let's I'll ask you the same question with Cup as I did with Ayuk. You know, do you think that if you play Cup, you necessarily need to play Stafford or 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 not much? Like, where, where do you think would be giving if you start your lineup like this? Like, what's more of a priority, if at all, to play Stafford or to play Garoppolo? Neither are a priority for me. Oh, beautiful! But if I had to pick one, it would probably be Stafford. Um, okay. I just don't trust the Rams' ability to run the ball, so I think they're going to have to throw the ball quite a bit. And and I'm actually I might even go back on my take and and think a little bit. Maybe maybe this is a game that that, that could be. I mean, they they do play really close, really low scoring games generally. Um, so maybe this is maybe maybe I got a little too excited about the over, but um. But it's 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 a tricky one, and then and then you've got the running situation. I mean, they're still going to try to run the ball. We know that the Rams are going to do that. And Daryl Henderson seemed to lose his work last week to Cam Akers, so maybe Cam Akers is a little bit better of a play. But then we've seen this before with them. Then they just flop it right back over. Um, Allen Robinson has been a big disappointment, but at his price, it's kind of interesting. So I'm looking at Kittle, Ayuk. Um, again, Cup is going to be hard to not have at least a little bit of exposure to in the captain. But as far as the flex goes, I'm 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 struggling a little bit. I mean, it's a it's a tricky decision between these, the the Wilson, Acres, Henderson, Robinson tier. I I don't love all those guys, and somehow I keep ending up in that range. So maybe maybe I can try to find a, a cheaper guy. Um, that there really isn't just anyone with that kind of crazy upside. Uh, that, that you know it's cheap. If there was one guy who I think might make some sense, it'd be Juwan Jennings for uh, San Francisco. All of these plays, though, are leading me to maybe maybe it seems like I should be playing Garoppolo. I still think I'm okay not doing it, but if I'm going to play three receivers, it's kind of hard not to not to throw Garoppolo in there. Also, um, uh, and and one other one other my favorite Rams, uh, uh, not sneaky but uh, captain play that I think is well, I guess it is sneaky for captain 
is uh is Tyler Higby. Um, I like Tyler Higby quite a bit here, and he's so cheap. I think well, he- Higby is very similar to to Ayuk in that, well, even more so. I mean, if you play Higby in in the captain, uh, you could you could just do anything. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's funny. Like you see, Kit. I mean, Kittle is so cheap. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like a sixty six hundred. Yep. And even like the I mean, acres, but but even Robinson, even though he's disappointed. I mean, at 6,200, that's – between him and Higby, like, both of them are really, really cheap, you know? Yeah. Um, so, if you put any – listen, if you put anybody but Cup, really, in the captain, I mean, you could you could really screw around. I mean, like, you could do whatever you want to the point where – listen, I'm not saying you have to do this, but let's say you have a lineup like this and you put, like, some – another good guy in. You could put another good guy in and leave 3,000 on the table, for example. Right. Um, and, and, and be totally reasonable. Like these are all good plays that are in this lineup, for example. And, and, and you could pull like, another reasonable guy in there, leave 3000 on the table. And I can't argue with the projection. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like the only thing that you're not getting is like both quarterbacks in, in, in a, in a, in a, uh, in a situation like that. But, but I think they really made this pricing a little too soft tonight, actually, now that I'm thinking about this. The only thing that makes it not soft is, let's see, what if you put Cup in the captain just for the hell of it? Even so, like, all these guys, like, 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 like Higby is only 5,200. Right. Like you said, uh, I, yeah, it's, it's, I even Alan Robinson. Robinson. Alan Robinson. Yeah, I'm not, not as excited about that one, but, um, I you because I mean, let you get all this stuff in if if you wanted it, you know. Yeah, uh, um, and then the other one I'm I'm looking at a little bit is the, uh, you know, I do think that Juwan Jennings is the is the one value that I might I might be willing to take some shots on as well. I really I actually I I mean he's had he had multi multiple two score games last year, um, and he already I mean he already had a ten fantasy point game this year, and he's just so cheap that he kind of uh, he's he's the guy who you can kind of use to make everything work. Um, I actually think I like Squarenek better than Robinson. Yeah, so so Squarenek is cheaper than Robinson, and quite honestly, he's been better. Mm-hmm. Um, and even just on a raw, you know, on a, on a just person by person uh, comparison, mm-hmm. and this is just more examples of of how you can what you call it. Um, I just figured out what makes this difficult is is why you can play these guys and you can even play quarterbacks and you can kind of make it work. What makes it hard is actually the Samuel. So, so you have two guys, you have Samuel and cup who are really dominating the salary. Like everybody else, except obviously for the quarterbacks are cheap. Um, so I don't think that you can, if you have, you play both of these guys, then it becomes a little, a little more difficult, but I think that if you just limit yourself to one of these guys, it makes your lineup, construction much easier mm-hmm. um and yeah i see maybe, maybe do some lineups with cup some lineups with samuel and and like you said cup is a tough aid but you know <laughs> it's, it's a showdown we gotta do something yeah I, well i just i just think that like maybe i maybe i just don't end up captain and cup and i mix it up between higby uh Ayuk, uh jeff wilson um and then if you want to get really weird, the Juwan Jennings thing, but I think that's probably a little too thin. Um, so, so between, between acres and Henderson, um, I think it's acres for me. Like, I, I mean, I'm just going on the recent trend of him getting all the, all the touches in the last game. Uh, will it continue that way? They, they change it up all the time. <laughs> like, I don't know, but I, as of right now, I'm leading slightly acres ahead of Henderson, but it's really close. And do you like any of the kickers or the defenses tonight? I think the Rams defense is, is is the best better value. I like the Rams defense quite a bit actually against Jimmy G he throws off his back foot too much anyway. I could see a, an Acres and Rams defense paying off actually as like a little correlative type of thing. And by the way, you can even use both if you if you play the the defense, you might even want to use both running backs from the Rams as much as I hate them as as good as the Giants are against the run. Um because there is definitely a game path where you're getting, you know, the 6 yards at a time and then your defense is, you know, getting sacks and turnovers and whatnot. I think that they actually correlate those, those pretty nicely. And then you play cup uh, and the expensive guys uh, after that. I'll take that, take a step further. I think that the Rams are a really good play 
and a really well, obviously the best defense and a really good play regardless of who you correlate them with. I think that this game could I think this game could score points and yet still the Ram, I mean the more the more times that Garoppolo is throwing off his back foot, the better it is for the Rams for the for the Rams defense. Mm-hmm. And even if that's in a high scoring game where the Rams running backs don't do anything, I still think that that the Rams defense is is of the four of those four things, you know, like the both defenses mm-hmm. and both kickers, I think that the Rams defense for me is is clearly the best of all four of those those options. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, if this is, I think I think the only the only way the kickers usually get there is in these in low in like really low scoring games. I don't know if this is gonna be that low scoring a game, you know, like it might be. Maybe. I mean San Francisco, they play these eleven tens, you know what I mean? Like yeah. they uh and the Rams do like to play slow. Yep. Yeah, they I mean unless they're forced to, that's what they'll do. Um so I I think I think the kickers and defense are in play. I like the Rams defense for what it's worth. I like uh gay a little bit better than I do the other kicker. Um I'm going to be, you know, I'll be overweight on in captain on basically everybody except for Cup and uh uh Debo Samuel. I just I probably will barely play those guys at captain just because their ownership, even though it's like almost impossible. It feels like it's impossible to win without those guys being captain because Cup basically every game just goes nuts against everybody. And <laughs> I don't know how, you know, he's not going to be the highest scoring player on this slate. So I might have to revisit this one later. I will, I will talk about it during live, but cup has to have a really, really pedestrian game. And even then he's still going to probably get there in some way or another. So, so, so because, because I'm not going to be there for, for live, I wanted to give you my, uh, I told you I had a kind of a take on this game. Yeah. Um, so the first thing I just kind of I intentionally didn't talk about it because because when you were talking about it, I knew I was going to talk about it later. But there, there are two guys that I really want to highlight as kind of who does here. One of them you talked about, and that would be uh, Juwan Jennings. Um, I think that at his price, he just opens up just so much mm-hmm. that that I'm, I'm going to have a ton of him. And the other guy, listen, that I'm just going to play because I always play him in showdown and he always delivers. And that will be the aforem- the unaforementioned but always playable Kyle Juszczyk, okay? Yeah. I play him every single time in showdown. I never play him any other time. And he always seems to just – its I don't even know what – I don't care what the game log says. He just always seems to have something. Mm-hmm. So, uh, you know, listen, Jeff Wilson is the only running back, I guess, there now, whatever it is. Um, the only difference is we used to have Juszczyk at like 200. I get it. Uh, um Good. But uh, you know that so that's listen. He's the one guy that's that we, that's not going to project all that great or at all. That I'm gonna I'm gonna play. And again, like I said, the, the pricing is somewhat soft. So I think that you do have to get different. Um, and so what I did, and just a full full disclosure, I have probably I think I have Jewent Jennings or Yuschek in every lineup. Um, and I have a couple of the the only the only lineups I have without. But with neither of them, I'm really going to be leaving like just a shit ton on the table. And the the other thing is that I, I'm also going to have a couple of lineups with both of them in, um, just uh, just for fun, just to see what happens. All right. Um, and 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 in no and in no uh, and in no no lineup, am I going to have uh, more than forty eight uh, nine in my in my build? So that's where I'm going to be tonight. And I actually right now just uh, just now, I mean, people forget, so it doesn't make a difference. Right now, in my bigger buy-in, it, it is it is Juwan Jennings in the cap. So we'll. I, I'm considering it myself, so I like that. Yeah. So we, we'll say that you'll you'll see everybody else in that lineup will just build itself. So I'm probably just giving the whole lineup away, but that's okay. Um, no one will remember anyway. Um, <laughs> dude, you put your you put you put your optimal lineup in at two o'clock in the afternoon, and nobody played it anyway. You know I, mean? know. <laughs> I know, I know, and it won the thing. Exactly. Exactly. Um, all right. Well, guys, it's been fun. Uh, good luck to everyone tonight. Please like the video before you leave and uh, I'll be live with you at six Eastern. Good luck, everybody. All right.